It's now almost two years since the island of St. Martin, that's French St. Martin and Dutch St. Martin, was devastated by Hurricane Irma, one of the strongest storms the Caribbean has ever seen. Buildings collapsed, cars were swept away, businesses destroyed. The marine sector, a vital contributor to the island's economy, took a severe hit. But like it did after Hurricane Lewis in 1995, it rebuilt and is now fully functional. Sadly, the same can't be said of the Simpson Bay Lagoon, where wrecks still litter the shore or lie hidden on the bottom. It's never easy for government to find money to remove wrecks. It's a low priority, and understandably so, as people and homes ashore come first. Many boats were insured and were refloated by salvage companies, and their owners compensated. However, many were uninsured and the cost of salvage fell to the owners, many of whom simply couldn't afford the fees charged by the salvage companies, some of which were out to make a killing. These wrecks won't sell the hopes and dreams of adventurers. People crossed oceans in these boats. Many were people's homes, the only home they had. Some boats, the ones that were refloated quickly, were repaired and went to sea again. Sadly, most of those in this video are now beyond repair, although one owner I know hasn't given up and insists he will get the job done. The problem facing island nations hammered by storms is what to do with such wrecks. Steel boats can be cut up, wooden boats can be burnt, but fiberglass is a whole different issue. And of course, the costs of disposing of wrecks are extremely high. At some point, government has to step in. Wrecks damage the environment and do little for the tourist trade. Surprisingly, locals become used to the sight of wrecks and in time they simply blend into the background. As this video was in production, a plan was put forward to finally clear the lagoon of wrecks. But in the Caribbean, there's always a plan. Now we must wait to see if that plan is acted on. With the first subtropical storm of the season hovering around the North Atlantic, the time for action is now.